so today is day minus 11. So transplant is in <clears throat> 11 days exactly. Got my central line plugged in, keen for these days to go. Day minus eight um, before my transplant. So it's my first day of chemotherapy. Just had my busulfan come into my drip here, or into my um, central line, just through just using this uh, old trolley cord here. And yeah, feeling fine after my first dose. We've got to take some repetitive um, measures just to see what the dose of busulfan currently is in my body, uh, just for some, for calculating the future doses. But day eight, gone good. Yeah, let's see how we go with all of this. So it's uh, day seven. Got my busulfan hooked up right now, getting my chemotherapy. And uh, got my lovely meal here. You see it's got some macaroni and cheese, peas, some cauliflower. Now that I'm eating, I can do one of my favorite pastimes right now, which is watch a bit of Modern Family. <laughs> which is just a really nice lighthearted program to kill the time. So yeah, so here we are, day minus seven. The countdown is getting closer. Okay, so it is day minus two till transplant. And I am wrecked. I've got thymoglobulin hung up right now and cyclophosphamide. I'm just starting to feel a bit, I guess, weak. A bit nauseous as well, so this might be a really short entry. But it's two days till transplant. I'm so excited. Okay, so it's still day minus two. I'm at the last one hour mark for my thymoglobulin, which is a rabbit immunoglobulin to help prior to transplant and after the transplant. It goes for six hours unless you react, like temperature, rash, then they pause it, manage the reaction, and then continue it. Because you have to do it for the transplant. I have one hour left, and my temperature has just gone up to 37.7. The cutoff is 38. So, hopefully the panadol that I just took will keep it down. I've got a killer headache. Hopefully the panadol will fix both the headache. The headache and the fever. Walking really clumsy and not remembering things. We expected the thymoglobulin to be the roughest part, so it's living up to its money. I'm also with the thymoglobulin on a lot of fluids. And that's mean because they put me on fluids and they give me diuretics. So this is what I just produced in one go. 700 mils of urine just produced. But hopefully this next hour I don't get any complications. We've finished the thymoglobulin for today. I'm expecting to perk up after I come off it. And then tomorrow I go on the thymoglobulin again. Except this time it's three times the dose. But the pharmacology of them typically, I think, I'll check with the doctors, it's not like a linear curve whereby as one goes up, the side effects go up. I think it's more exponential that it only gets so bad. And then when you raise it, it doesn't get much worse because it's already bad. So that's what I'm hoping is going to be the pharmacodynamics of this drug. So today is day zero. What does that mean? What you're seeing going into my neck right now. That is my transplant going in right now. This is the new beginning to the rest of our lives. So I wanted to do a bit more of a explorative vlog around this and make it a bit more epic. But I have really bad cystitis and I'm just pissing blood right now all the time. So I'm not going to be recording that too much. I'm waiting for my morphine to kick in because I'm having quite a lot of pain problems. But we have the donor. I'm getting the transplant right now. 
we did it. Okay, so it is day 10 and it's a little bit early, but my bloods have come back from this morning. And guess what? My cell counts have gone up. Not by a lot, but my white cells 0.2. It's the first day that they've gone from 0 to 0 0.2 now. My cell counts are starting to go up. My mucositis is already starting to improve. Like half my mouth feels like completely normal again and the other side already feels like it's getting better. So, with only 0.2 white cells per litre, it's doing a pretty amazing job, but day 10, day 10 the cells already started going up. It's actually crazy how early this is happening. So, it's just about now seeing how quickly it's gonna go up over the next few days, but. Today is day plus 11. So that's 11 days after my transplant, and my cells, 0.6 my white cells are at 0.6 and that has pretty much completely fixed all of my mucositis which is so good but not only that today is also the last day of chemotherapy i had some methotrexate uh it's just to sort of help with making sure the transplant takes and everything like that but yeah today is the last day that i will ever receive chemotherapy we did it, we fucking did it. So, oh, it's amazing. It feels great to have my cells coming up. I can feel the energy. I just overall feel so much better. It's unreal to think how different you can feel with, well, 0.6 white cells per liter. So, it's crazy, but oh, it's such a good day. Last day of chemotherapy ever. After this, it's just cyclosporin for the year, antibiotics, antifungals, antivirals. But that's pretty good considering for everything I've gone through, so. I'm pretty happy and feeling just overwhelmed with happiness right now. So it is day 12 and my white cells are 1.5. Pretty much back to normal now. How good is that? So met with the team and we're actually now looking at the chances of me being discharged in two days time. So by day 14, how early is that? Um, we were planning on discharging me by hopefully day 25, day 30, but I've responded so well to the transplant and grafted so early, really started in grafting on day 10. I've picked up by day 12, so getting ready to discharge by day 14, but ah, I feel great. I have no mucositis at all, no symptoms whatsoever. I feel completely normal. I've just been disconnected from all of the machines. So no more of these, I'll have five of them connected. But I don't need to get connected at all now. All the medications are being switched to oral. And then we're also trialing me off of all the anti-emetics to see that I don't have any nausea. But I, I really shouldn't now though, because my white cells are back to normal. So yeah, it's exciting. So hopefully go home soon. So it is day 13 and I feel amazing. My white cells are at 4.1 today, 4.1. And my neutrophils yesterday, they were 0 0.4 when my white cells were 0 0.6. So I can only imagine when my neutrophils come back, they take a bit longer. It'll be above 1.0 for sure. Okay, so it is day 14. And do you notice anything different about me? Yes. I have a Pokemon shirt that you are most likely very jealous of. No, but also, look, the CVC is out. Do you know what that means? It's discharge day. So I'm going home today. All my counts are excellent. I'm on all oral medications. So there's no point keeping me here anymore. I can go home. So going home day plus, day plus 14 after the transplant. I'm so happy. I'm so keen to go home. Ah, looking forward to sleeping in my own bed. Yeah, day 14, it's pretty early. It's um, a lot earlier than other people right now because there's a few transplants happening right now. 
and none of them are actually going home anywhere close to that early, so I'm really happy with how I progressed in this. It's gone really good. See how I go over the next few weeks, obviously, because things can happen, but feeling really, really good now. Okay, so it is day 15. I'm at home in my bedroom and just here chilling with uh, Goku and it's so good to be home. This is Goku, my Bengal cat. It's absolutely gorgeous. He's already engaging with the camera right now because you can hear his food bowl being moved around. Good thing. Look. Hmm? Now Goku, it's the first time I've really introduced him to the channel. But um, essentially, I got him on my last day of chemotherapy last year. Always wanted a Bengal cat, and so I decided to get one on my very last day of chemotherapy. And so I've had him ever since my last day of chemotherapy last year. Through to now, when I had my transplant. Oh, this is the other cat house. And one cool thing with Goku, the Bengal cat, that's not really the reason why I got them, but it's still a pretty cool fact, is that they are actually immune to leukemia. Isn't that cool? So, uh, like, that's not why I got him, it's a pretty cool fact about him. Otherwise, it's good to be home. Yeah. So it's day 50 today, and I'm vlogging today specifically because Today I'm sitting a medical school exam. Um, I missed my exam because I was having my transplant. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna sit it. So today, day 50, I'm sitting an exam. Apparently that's quite early in the transplant process to try to return, not only to university studies, but to actually be assessed. But um, I've got a bit too much to do to just sit around and wait. So um, good luck to me for the exam today and hopefully, hopefully I pass to, um, you know, give, give the university a bit of confidence that I can do the rest of this year despite having had a transplant and hopefully I can help inspire you to realise that if you're going through a transplant we can still do a lot afterwards it's difficult as hell but we can do it It's day 96 <laughs> It's Al's <laughs> Another the cat And I'm going into my first bone marrow biopsy since I've had the transplant and I will see how we've actually responded to the transplant in this bone marrow biopsy. I'm feeling super positive, super optimistic about it. And so I'm really looking forward to it. I like Coke. <laughs> and um, yeah, so just a light update. It's day 96, bone marrow biopsy today. I'm feeling confident, feeling positive. You can get it out of the way and see what the results are. Let's go. Okay, so it is day 150, and this is the final vlog update for the BMT diary and the BMT day-to-day -day update video, I suppose. So I'm feeling really, really good. If you followed the updates, I have developed PTLD, so that'll be the next sort of chapter of what I'll be covering. But as far as the transplant's gone, it's gone amazing. I feel really good, and I think something that's really important to pull out here is that, well, I'm happy, you know? We beat leukemia. Life is going really, really well. This transplant has gone amazing. Once again to my donor, thank you so much. I owe you my life. And I'm so grateful to be where I am today because of you. And it's funny, look, looking back through the footage of this um, BMT day-to-day -day diary, I guess, it, was, it began with me getting hairier in the face and skinnier. And now it's, I'm the inverse of where I've got a bit hairy in the face but fatter <laughs> so I think that's a good good way to progress in this as far as um, uh, I guess vlog updates should go so yeah but thank you so much for watching I hope you're able to stay right at the end of the video sorry it was a long one post below your own vlog journey tell me about what it was like during your transplant tell me where in your transplant you're up to were there any things that you saw in mind that you could really really relate to Tell me everything below. Tell me all about your journeys and where you're at right now. I would really be interested to know. And uh, I've got my baby here with me, as always. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, please, as always. And I'll see you in the next video.